whenever you want to start. Go. Okay, so this is uh, question 30.67 from our textbook. It asks us to find the voltage and charge of each uh, of these capacitors, capacitor 1, capacitor 2, and capacitor 3 of 15 microfarads, 20 microfarads, and 30 microfarads, which are uh, have a voltage supply of 100 volts. So, to begin this problem, we start with position A, which is the initial position, and we note that Q initial equals C1 times V0, uh, which is 15 microfarads times 100 volts, which equals 0 0.0015 coulombs. In position B, we have to note a couple things before we solve the problem to make our equations easier. Uh, the first one being that Q initial is redistributed across C1, C2, and C3. And just uh, to clarify my variables, Q1 is capacitor 1's uh, charge, Q2 is capacitor 2's charge, and Q3 is capacitor 3's charge. So we note that C2 and C3 are in series, meaning that the, the charge of Q capacitor 1 and charge of capacitor 2 are the same. And we note that this also means that the initial charge is equal to the charge 1 plus charge 2. And because this, um, this is a parallel circuit, we note that each loop has equal voltage. So, moving on, um, we, to find the charges of each, we note that Q0 equals Q1 plus Q2, and moving this around a bit, we get that Q1 equals Q0 minus Q2. And using the equation V equals Q over C, we get that Q1 over C1 equals Q2 over C2, because each of the because the voltages are the same in each loop. So Q1 over C1 equals 0 0.0015 coulombs minus Q2 divided by 15 microfarads because of this equation and the capacitance of uh, capacitor 1, which is 15 microfarads. And so we have to move these two equations around to find Q2. And we can make this easier for ourselves by finding C2 using the equations for capacitors in series which means that 1 divided by C2 equals uh, 1 divided by 20 microfarads plus 1, 1 divided by 30 microfarads um, equals the capacitance of capacitor 2, which is 12 microfarads. So, setting these two equations equal to each other, because they both equal C1, a Q1 over C1, I'm sorry, uh, we get that we solve for Q2 and find that Q2 equals 0 0.67 mic uh, millicoulombs. And we know because Q2 and Q3 are the same, they both equal uh, 0.67 millicoulombs. So, um, using our one of our other equations, we get that the initial charge equals Q1 plus Q2, and which means that Q1 equals 0 0.0015 coulombs minus 0 0.6 millicoulombs, that Q1 equals 0.83 millicoulombs. Now, all we have to do now is solve for voltage, which is fairly straightforward. We just use V equals Q over C again. And we find that voltage 1 equals 0.83 millicoulombs divided by 15 microfarads, which equals 55 volts. Q2 equals 0.67 uh, millicoulombs divided by 20 microfarads, which equals 34 volts. And V3 equals 0.67 millicoulombs divided by 30 microfarads, which equals 22 volts. Thank you. Hold well on.